Pete Gang family members, this was a special event held by uh, Stan Banks and Bella Canvas. I was honored and excited to be in the building with so many inspiring, influential influencers um, that have reached great uh, strides in life. And to me, this was a networking extravaganza. So y'all kick back, relax, and enjoy this. And hit that thumbs up, just that members-only content. Tap in. Helped me. So with Silky Socks, we started with one style of sock, and it was moving. The customers wanted it, and it was time to get more, more styles of socks. They were asking for ankle socks, knee-high socks, colored socks, and they wanted it in volume, right? So at some point, I sold myself. There are no limitations. Like there's no shortage of cotton in the fields out there. There's no shortage of polyester out there. If my warehouse is too small, that's just a limitation I put on myself. If I need more employees, I can hire more people. If I need to post more on social media, I can post a few more times on social media. Every limitation is just in my head, right? So I said, yeah, I said I have no more limitations. I can grow exponentially, and, and as long as the customers are coming to me, I can, do, I, can, I can serve them in abundant quantities and abundant products. So we expanded from socks to face masks to underwear to headbands to beanies. And now even coming out with our own blank shirt for sublimation. No, 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 no. Um, and so with that mindset that there are no limitations, we went from uh, zero to a seven-figure revenue company uh, two years in a row now. And we just continue to uh, build on that mindset and continue to growing. And so I encourage all of you guys to try to get a no limitation, abundant mindset. And with that, you can be the next Silky Socks or the next Belly Canvas and uh, be the next big thing. So Silky. this is my abundance car right here. <laughs> and love all y'all and thank you for your time. Let's get it. All right, guys, first of all, I just want to say thank everybody for coming out. It's such an honor to be in the presence of everybody that's, uh, you know, watching our content, consuming our content, and, and, and supporting us as we support you guys and trying to provide you with information that will help your businesses. And um, I just, I'm, I'm just humbled that all of you guys came out to support us as well as uh, to talk, you know, take in some of the information that we have for you guys. And thank you so much. I'm, I'm not gonna make any long, you know, any special thing, but thank you so much, I appreciate you guys. And if you're not subscribed yet, <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I love it. Um, this is my first time speaking, so bear with me. But my name is Sandra Smith. Um, I'm a country coach. I am the owner of Blanks Florida University, where we show you how to turn your hobby into a profit um, through sublimation. So we offer BG Sublimation paper, um, Sublimation blank, Sublimation online classes, and Sublimation hands-on classes. And on March the 14th, we'll be dropping our own Sublimation ink. Um, my word for today is we need to build more community and get around like-minded people. Um, when I first started this business, I got into it because nobody else was showing us how to do what it is that I do. So I started a community and started teaching people and um, educating people on sublimation. And just by me sharing my gift, uh, my company um, hit 4.5 million in one year. So, <laughs> so if I encourage you guys to do anything, it is to share your gift, get around like-minded people that can encourage you and build you and grow from there. So that's it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. All right. Thank everybody for coming. Uh, I am uh, Gary Janae from Around the Way, uh, tshirthelpdesk.com. And people have told me, especially this time, that I'm the OG of online yes, t-shirt influencers. And I, I really uh, appreciate that. And I, the one thing I want to say is that the reason I started is because long, long, long time ago, uh, when I first started, a lot of people were keeping a lot of information to themselves. They were very secretive. They, were, they, they don't want you to know stuff. And um, I worked in the industry for over 20 years, and uh, I decided I was going to be the person 
to let people know what was going on and, I don't know, give the inside game on how you can get into this industry and uh, start a t-shirt business. And uh, my whole thing is to serve you guys and serve people. And uh, that's it. And start a t-shirt business or die trying. I'm going to do Taste, taste. Um, yeah, we got the art department over there. Uh, Hello. So I'm not gonna beat what Dinesh said. That was amazing. So part of me wants to say ditto. Um, he's. Can you? Okay. Uh, <laughs> my name is now. These guys are legends. Um, I've seen all of you. So, uh, just meeting. Taste, taste. It's like when I used to rap. Um, guys, this is the first time meeting Santos, and people always watch his videos and think I'm him, but he has way more views than me. And But let me tell you this. So I was coming up to him, I was like, I can't wait to tell him what a fan I am. You know what he said to me? He said, John, I'm a huge fan of your channel. And I'm like, bro, you just stole my line. This guy's crazy. Um, I love everybody in here. I think community is a big word. The very first uh, YouTube channel I ever dropped, um, people would always say, hey, I would be the guy if you were doing a clothing line that uh, someone would come to that worked in the industry, right? Work my way up from apparel designer, senior men's designer, and then creative director last three positions. And so uh, people would say, hey, I'm a friend of so and And they said, uh, I want to start a clothing line. Can you help me? And about keeping secrets, I was like, yeah, what do you want to know? <laughs> like, well, what questions do you have? So I said, let me start a uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to put my top 20 ask questions. And I would say, hey, watch this link real quick. And then let me know if you have more questions. And then uh, I, the first time I was creative director, I went back to, like, uh, the parent company lost funding, filed for bankruptcy. I was like, man, I should check out that YouTube channel. I had to find the password, no engagement for a year. There was, like, a thousand more subscribers. And I was like, dang, I think people died for like a thousand subscribers. I should really keep doing this. And so it's weird now to be talking with people with brand deals. I got a ton of love for Bella Canvas, um, Ink Kitchen. Stan's been a big champion for me. I have the smallest channel out of all these guys in here. Um, but I wish for you guys a prosperous uh, everything moving forward. 2020 was tough, but I think the best is yet to come. And I wish for you all to have the best. I think for all of us, it's been the big give back that gives to us the most. And it's always a stand. It's the same story. All of us give back, and then it gives to us more, and it empowers us to be able to work with all of you. So I'm looking forward uh, to 22. Let's get it. And first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone here today. So give a round of applause to yourself, honestly. I don't feel the energy though. Come on, really give a round of applause to yourself. Let's go. All right. Next, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone up here. I've, I had a chance to connect with a lot of you guys at the trade show. Really respect your guys' work, and I know we're going to collaborate a lot more. And Bella Canvas for hosting this amazing event and even giving us a platform to do this. So give a huge round of applause. Shout out to Bella Canvas. So guys, and I'll keep it short, but. Just like everyone here, we all started a channel with a mission, right? So my story began right out of high school, 19 years old, I had an idea for a bag company that you can customize and create new designs, and e-commerce was just getting started, so I felt like it was my opportunity to do something to shine. And throughout those years, you know, the lessons that you do something right, you fail. You know, I started with nothing. My parents are from Mexico, so I came down to LA to essentially start building my, my network of people, my network of suppliers, from the fabrics to the zippers to the manufacturers, and I bumped my head a lot. I bumped my head a lot. We went to different trade shows, we presented our brand, the collaborations, distribution deals fell apart, the retail store plays that were really set up for us to shine fell apart in 2015, and at that point, I realized my wife came up to me and she said, hey, make a YouTube video on what you wish you would have known before you got started. And that's what I did. I did a how to start a clothing line with less than $50. Because I was like, I only had $50 on my bank account at that time, right? Yeah, and, uh, exactly. So that one kicked it off. And I started just doing more content from labels to how do you do cut and right. sew to yeah, what, yeah. what, what, you know, just information that people were asking. I was able to just really share it because that was something I was going through. 
So yeah. as I did that and I continued to share my information, I continued to get blessed by opportunities. And I think Bella Canvas was the very first channel that I really noticed that. And, and they get, and they helped give us the platform that we have today. So I'm really appreciative of that. And just like everyone in this room, guys, make sure that you're always getting people's contacts and you're following up because you don't know that the person next to you may be the person that opens an opportunity for yourself. So this is a room of entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. So make sure that you're always following up. So right after Sunday on Monday, start emailing people. You know, if you guys come up to me, I'll be sharing my content with you. I want you guys to follow up with me. And I want us to continue building this community because I know that together yeah, we can all go far. So I want to do a quick talk. Everyone grab their drinks to success, to continue growth and collaboration. Cheers. So can you, sir, can you tell us All right, I don't want to be are? the last one between all of you guys getting back to food and right. drinks, but um, I'm Chris Blakesley. I'm the president of Bella Canvas, and uh, on behalf of our entire team, I also want to thank you for, for being here, for being supporters of ours, uh, and hopefully you feel that we give some of that same support back to you. But most importantly, thanks for showing that we actually can go out and get back to normal life again and start generating things and being out, creating business and money. Um, we're super appreciative of that. That's why we thought it was so important to be at this show. We were at the PBAI show in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. A lot of brands didn't go to those events. Our team said we're absolutely going because we want to support our customers. So we're super appreciative of that as well. And uh, have a wonderful time. Thanks again. All right, so um, I wanted to close it out. And first, most importantly, is to thank Bella Canvas because uh, I traveled for the last year going to shows and going out meeting a lot of people uh, from Atlantic City to Texas. Uh, and I attended a lot of events um, and I went to the Print Hustlers uh, conference recently and Belly Canvas was there obviously as a, a, a supporter or a sponsor of the event. Chris spoke and I looked around and I realized that it was more about the community because there was no ROI, ROI on that event. All the printers there were already using the product. They didn't have to be there to do anything. Hell yeah. and that was really, really important. So at that conference, I talked to Chris and I told him what I wanted to do, like I said earlier. Um, and you know, for me, it's like companies have to support all communities. You know, I, I had uh, a brief run-in about a mask that every employee